Hey everyone, Memory here for day number 8 of the 12 days of anime. Much like day 7, with today's video we're going to be talking about another series. This series really nothing like Eureka 7, which we talked about on day 7. We're talking the Asterisk War. She beat that! I'm pretty sure it's a show that most of you really don't like, but I'm one of those people that actually really did enjoy The Asterisk War. Will I say it's one of my favorite series of all time? No. Will I say it's one of my least favorite shows of all time? No. But can I say that I enjoyed it for the most part? Yes, I can. And really with this video, what I'm going to talk about is the jump from season one to season two and why I, as well as many other people, enjoyed season two a whole lot more than season one. So, first off, something that was very, very well done with both seasons of the Asterisk War, regardless of what anyone says, you cannot deny this fact. The animation the art in the series is is spot on. It is amazing, honestly. The the animators of staff at A1 went in, and also the music in both seasons. During the fights, the insert songs were tremendous, and both openings and both endings from both seasons were great. So, though that was definitely something well done with both seasons. I gotta give the staff and the animators at A1 credit for that, and also the music behind it as well. But the thing with season one that I really didn't like, and I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people were like this with me, and I knew I was going to get this going into the Asterisk War, was the harem cliches. And there are harem shows Trust me, I've watched a lot of harems. There are harem shows that have those cliches, the same ones the Asterisk War has, and they kind of twist them and do them a different way to where it's actually enjoyable. But with the Asterisk War, it was kind of just like, oh, I saw this a million times. It's nothing new to me. It was boring. It was stale. I was like, oh, I, I knew this was going to happen. So when that when season one carried over into season two, of course, in season one, you had the fights and all that, which were incredible. That's that's what I really loved about season one, especially. And most of season one was the majority of season one had had the harem cliches that I'm talking about. In season two, though, they kind of just pushed that all to the side and they said we're going to focus on the action and the fights. The whole I think it was the first seven or eight episodes of the second season was just straight action. And it was it was great. It, it was like just seeing Saya and Kieran team up and of course Ayato and Yulis team up and all the the new duos that, that we encountered what was great to see. And that final fight in that festa, ooh, ooh man, that was that was so good. And then it ended off with that little arc with the one little annoying orphan girl that I did not care for one bit. That was like the worst thing about the second season, but it all it didn't really bother me all too that much. But it's actually getting pretty damn good. Like I want another season because they brought up another festa. Everyone was going to be competing in it, including Claudia, I believe. And we still have this stuff with Ayato's sister going on. And that's like one of the things with the Asterisk War that I have to applaud. Like one of like the plot points that is actually pretty solid is the the, the stuff with Ayato's sister because. The story of the Asterisk War isn't anything, you know, mind-bending or crazy, well done, or anything like that. It's really, honestly, not that well written, as well as the characters are not as well written. But that's one thing that I, I do like in what they're what they're doing with it, and that's the whole thing with Ayato's sister. So I want to see where that goes, and I am hoping, honestly, for a Season 3 of the Asterisk War going forward. But season two was just really enjoyable for me because it just pushed aside those harem cliches. There were little tiny bits of it there, but not like season one where it was like everywhere in your face all the time. And th that's why I enjoyed season two so much more. And that's probably what contributed to my overall enjoyment of both seasons together. Because when I look back on the Asterisk War, I look mainly at like season two and the fights there. Like granted, there were some okay fights and, and some fights in season one, but season two was just straight action and it was great. So, if you want to show that you you want to watch it quickly, it's one of those series honestly you 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 have to binge and watch. Now now that I really think about it, and that's how I think you'd get the most enjoyment out of it. It's not a show where you can watch just like one or two episodes and maybe like wait a couple days and then go into more episodes. That's how you'd you'd fall out of it. It'd be a show you'd have to binge. So if you want like one of those quick action fixes with some 
you know, some cute girls and uh, sort of an overpowered main character that it still manages to fulfill your enjoyment, the Asterisk War would be for you. And I'm pretty sure a lot of you have already watched it. It always gets compared to Rakudai, which I love Rakudai a whole lot more than Asterisk, so don't even get that twisted at all. But it always gets compared to Rakudai. And I think maybe if Rakudai and Asterisk weren't airing at the literally the same exact time, on the same exact day, or around the same exact time, uh, maybe Asterisk would have been perceived well or, or better by the audience because Rakudai was right there and people always compared it. They were like Rakudai's leagues and miles ahead of the Asterisk War, which is true. But I think maybe if Rakudai wasn't there, uh, it, it would have gave more sort of shine to, to the Asterisk War and especially the fights in season one. And, and I know a lot of people did enjoy season two and I know a lot of people didn't watch season two because of how disappointed they were with with the first season all the harem cliches that were just stale and boring and they just couldn't really get to feel the characters and they saw that a million times before but I, i'm happy with where the asterisk war is going i'm happy with how season two left off and, and how it was and i'd honestly love to see a third season so yeah let me know what you all thought of the asterisk war if you've wa if you've watched it did you enjoy the second season a whole lot more than the first season are you one of those I would say maybe it's an unpopular thing that you enjoyed season one more than season two because you actually like those harem cliches and they don't bother you anymore because maybe you watched even more harems than me and it's just like, oh, I, I'm going into this. I know what I'm going to get and I enjoy this type of stuff. So, yeah, that's about it. Let me know what you all thought about anything I said in the video about the Asterisk War and drop any comment you want about the show or anything you got to say uh, down below. Just... Keep it polite, and let's all be civil here. And because I know maybe there'll be like a, a argument on on Rakudai and the Asterisk War. Or I don't know. I've saw lots of things on the internet, but yeah, that's about it. I'll see you all for day nine. Peace out, everyone.